What happens when you reach the edge of the universe? Is there a boundary, a wall? Or does it go on forever? And if it does end, what lies beyond? These are some of the most profound questions humanity has ever asked. From ancient cosmologies to modern astrophysics, the concept of the universe's edge has challenged our understanding of space, time, and existence itself. Today on Mind Stretch, we're diving deep into the mysteries of the cosmos. What lies at the edge? And how does science even begin to answer this ultimate question? Before we can talk about the edge, we need to define the universe itself. When we say universe, we're referring to all of space, time, matter, and energy, everything that exists. But here's where it gets tricky. According to current cosmological models, the universe isn't just a collection of galaxies. It's also the very fabric of space-time that connects them. And the universe is expanding, meaning the space between galaxies is stretching over time. But is the universe infinite, or does it have a finite size? If it's infinite, there's no edge. If it's finite, what happens when you reach the end? To answer these questions, we need to explore some scientific theories about the universe's shape and structure. First, let's talk about what we can actually see, the observable universe. This is the part of the universe we can detect, limited by the speed of light. Since light takes time to travel, when we look at distant objects, we're actually seeing them as they were billions of years ago. The observable universe has a radius of about 46.5 billion light years, even though the universe itself is only 13.8 billion years old. How is that possible? Because the universe has been expanding since the Big Bang, stretching distances faster than light can traverse them. The observable universe is essentially a cosmic horizon determined by how far light has had time to travel. Beyond this horizon, there may be countless galaxies and cosmic phenomena, but we'll never see them because their light has it and may never reach us. Does this mean the observable universe has an edge? Not quite. It's more like a limit to our vision rather than a boundary in space. Now, let's address a deeper question. What shape is the universe? This matters because the universe's shape determines whether it has an edge. Cosmologists consider three possibilities, flat, spherical, or hyperbolic. If the universe is flat, it extends infinitely in all directions, much like a two-dimensional plane extending endlessly. If it's spherical, it curves back on itself, like the surface of a balloon. In this case, traveling far enough in one direction could theoretically bring you back to your starting point. If it's hyperbolic, it has a satellite curvature, but it might still be infinite. Current observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation suggest that the universe is flat, or very close to flat, but with a margin of error that leaves room for debate. Even if the universe is flat, it doesn't necessarily mean it's infinite. It could still be finite but unbounded, like the surface of a cylinder or a torus. So what's beyond the observable universe? The simplest answer is more universe. The regions beyond our cosmic horizon are likely similar to what we see, filled with galaxies, stars, and dark matter. But here's where it gets speculative. If the universe is infinite, then it goes on forever repeating or varying endlessly. If it's finite, then at some point, it must end, or does it? Some theories suggest that beyond the observable universe, the laws of physics themselves could change. Perhaps there are regions where time flows differently, or where the constants of nature, like the speed of light or the strength of gravity, are entirely different. This brings us to the idea of a multiverse, where our universe is just one of many each with its own unique properties. What about the edge of space-time itself? If the universe had a beginning with the Big Bang, what does that mean for its boundaries? Many cosmologists argue that asking about the edge of space-time is like asking what's north of the North Pole. It's a meaningless question because space-time itself is what defines existence. Beyond the universe, there may be no space, no time, and no matter literally nothing. But quantum mechanics complicates this picture. The quantum foam of space-time suggests that even nothingness may have fluctuations, 
giving rise to new universes. This aligns with some theories of cosmic inflation, where our universe is just one bubble expanding within an infinite cosmic sea. The edge of the universe isn't just a scientific question, it's also a profound philosophical challenge. If the universe is infinite, how do we make sense of something without boundaries? If it's finite, what does that mean for our place within it? Philosophers like Immanuel Kant argued that the human mind might not be equipped to comprehend infinity or nothingness, leaving us to grapple with the limits of our understanding. In a way, the edge of the universe mirrors the edge of human knowledge. As we explore these boundaries, we're not just learning about the cosmos, we're learning about ourselves and our capacity to wonder. So, what happens at the edge of the universe? The answer may be as infinite as the universe itself. It's a mystery that combines science, philosophy, and imagination, reminding us that some questions are as vast as the cosmos. What do you think? Does the universe have an edge, or does it go on forever? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us on MindStretch for more explorations of reality. Until next time, 